a special edition of Sketchy Questions. How to make 2D face me components in Google SketchUp. And we'll start off by importing an image. Just a regular JPEG and only use it as an image, nothing else. And we'll just toss it in here, it doesn't matter what size it is. And using the tape measure tool, I know that Aragorn is about, uh, let's just call that 6.25 feet. Enter. Uh, scale the model, yes. There we go. Now we know Aragorn is the right height. And let's explode this. So you see it's just a surface, flat surface, with Aragorn sort of painted on top of it. Now the fun part. We get to trace Aragorn out. And just go really quickly here the first pass. And through the magic of TV, we have one that's done. And erase away the extra lines that we don't need. Okay, and now the even more fun part. You get to trace very closely. Mm -hmm. Then... And just go quickly, it doesn't have to be really exact. Just use straight line. Just get the basics down. Follow it around. And eventually you have to do this around the entire model. But luckily you don't have to be super accurate about it. So if we sprinkle a little bit more pixie dust on here, we have an Aragorn that is traced out completely, as close as I wanted it, including all the little cutouts behind his sword and everything. And he's still just a flat surface painted on there. All I did was trace him out. But now I'm going to uh, rotate him so he's standing up. There you go. And now uh, you can see we've got shadows on. So we can begin to see how this is going to look. Okay. Looks pretty good. I like the way a shadow looks. So let's, uh... You see he's floating in midair right now. Let's move him down. He's standing on the ground. There. Ah, but you see, we've created a problem here. His foot now goes through the ground, so if I turn the ground on, you can see it better. His toe is digging into the dirt. Probably not what you wanted. So how do we fix that? Something similar again. We're going to keep tracing, but this time I'm going to just trace his leg. And I'm doing this because I want to sort of cut his leg away. So just quickly go around. Make sure all your lines are coplanar. And there we go. Now I've got just the leg selected. And I'm going to make it a group. Now, to get his toe up out of the dirt, I'm just going to rotate only his leg which now makes this 2D component 3D. See, Aragorn does a little dance there. And just rotate it till his shoe is on top of the ground. That looks about right. Now I want to highlight everything and make it a component. And I will name it Aragorn. 
I wanted to set it to face the camera always and set the shadows not facing the sun. Now setting the gluing plane there in the center of the component is always a good habit. And now we're done. So there's our component. And you can see it looks pretty good. The shadow looks good. His leg looks pretty good. And as we spin around, he's always facing us. He's tricky like that. But if we look a little bit closer, we can see there's kind of a crack be behind his leg there because we moved it out. And the shadow shows that crack also. So let's try to get rid of that. The problem is it kind of flashes as you rotate around sometimes. It's distracting. It looks like something's wrong with your model. So let's fix it. Let's go around to the back of Aragorn. And what we're going to do is just basically make uh, sort of another copy of his leg. So fill that surface back in and reapply the texture there. So we'll just draw that line to get rid of excess geometry just like before and hide the 3D part of the leg and we'll just erase these lines that we had on that surface there heal all that back together we don't need them anymore so if we rotate around and unhide his 3D leg and finish editing the component you can see from the front, the leg looks fine, and from the top, because there's sort of two legs now, it's uh, much less noticeable that anything is going on there. And also the shadow looks perfectly normal too. And it won't flash as you rotate around when you use him other places. So there he is, your finished Aragorn. Let's put him where he belongs. Here he is, and this. Uh, Moria, part of Moria model that I'm assuming somebody JWL uploaded to the 3D Warehouse. Thank you very much for that. And also thank you to the 3D Basecamp video where I learned the techniques in this video.